It's a popular family destination, but speeders love it too. The long stretch of road between the zoo and the aquarium along Tingley Beach is a 25 mile an hour zone, but News 13's Marissa Lucero shows you why those speed limit signs might as well be invisible. Yes, sir. <laughs> From across Tingley Beach, John Beesterville <laughs> There's a trout for you. <laughs> is having a pretty good fishing day. Yeah, he's a keeper. Other than a few laid back fishermen and kids playing outside after school. It sounds like a raceway over here. <laughs> Can't help but hear them. And no, they're not talking about the ducks and geese. It's the lead-footed drivers along the nearly two-mile stretch of Tingley Drive from 8th Street to Central, where the speed limit is supposed to be a mellow 25. Easily 30, 40, 50 miles an hour. Easy all day long. We used the gun on a couple dozen drivers. No one was doing the speed limit. People who come down here or make trips to the zoo know it. I bring my granddaughter and grandsons and down here. And we have a good time, but we got to watch things very closely. According to APD, there have been eight crashes on Tingley in the last seven months. Police say one driver hopped a median and crashed into a tree line. In June, APD says another driver stopped in the middle of the road to let ducks cross. And that ended up in a three-car pileup. When News 13 took a trip down Tingley going 25 miles per hour, we got passed by an SUV in a double yellow zone. People at the beach have a message for the speedsters. This is a family thing down here. Consider it a school zone. Marissa Lucetto, KRQE News 13. The city says everything to make the Tingley a safer street is already in place. Speed bumps, they say, are not an option because Tingley has just too much traffic. 